solving a linear inequality with multiple occurrences of the variable problem type 3. Solve the inequality for y. Okay, so since I have fractions here, the first thing I'm going to do is clear these fractions. Now, you don't have to do this. <coughs> If you're good with fractions or you have a calculator that will help you with the fractions, then you can just leave them in and, and let the calculator do the fraction work and solve it. Go ahead and solve it. I'm going to go ahead and clear the fractions uh, just for practice and to show you how to do this. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this inequality. Okay. So 2 minus 3 eighths y is less than or equal to y plus 5, 6. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a line right down through my inequality since that's the middle of the inequality and is kind of dividing the left side from the right side. And then on each side, I'm going to draw a line in front of any pluses and minuses. So I have a minus right there, so I drew a line in front, and I have a plus right there, so I'm going to draw a line in front. Now, what I've done is divide my inequality into terms. I have two terms on the left, and I have two terms on the right, okay? Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because to clear the fraction, I'm going to multiply every term by the same number. Now, to figure out what number I need, I'm going to look at my denominators. What I need is the least common multiple of my two denominators. Um, so I have an 8 and a 6. The least common multiple would be 24. If you're not good with least common multiples, you can just take your denominators, whatever they are, and multiply them together. Uh, so in my case, that would be 8 times 6, or 48. So I could also use 48 for this little trick, or to clear the fractions, okay? Either one of those numbers will work. The least common multiple will keep the numbers, the coefficients in your problem smaller, but either any multiple uh, that 8 and 6 both go into will work here. So I'm going to use 24, and I need to take that 24, and I'm going to multiply every term. That's why I put the purple lines in, okay? So 24 times this term, 24 times this term, right? 24 times this one and 24 times that one. So 24 times 2 is 48, okay? 24 times negative 3 eighths is negative 9y, right? And if you aren't good with working out fractions in your head, you can always do it on a calculator, okay? So 24 times, and I, on the calculator, like to always put my fractions in parentheses. So minus, or negative, okay, well, yeah, 24 times negative uh, 3 eighths, okay, will give me negative 9, right? So negative 9y, 24 times y, on the right is just 24y, okay? And 24 times 5, 6 um, is positive 20. Okay, so now I've cleared my fractions, and now I can just go about solving it. Now remember, the only tricky thing that you have to remember about solving an inequality is if we multiply or divide by a variable, or excuse me, not variable, if we multiply or divide by a negative then we have to flip the sign. So we just need to keep an eye out for that. So now that I've cleared my fractions, I have variables on both sides. Okay, so I need to get rid of one of these terms or zero it out. I like to keep my variables on the left, so I'm going to get rid of this one. But you could, you could choose. It doesn't really matter which one you do first, but I'm going to zero out this one. Okay, so this is positive 24y. Opposite is negative 24y. And to keep things balanced, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, right? There's my inequality, dividing the right side from the left side. So this is now 0. All I'm left with is 20 over here, okay? On this side, I have 48 
and negative 9 minus another 24 is negative 33y. Okay, now I didn't have to flip my sign because I was subtracting here, not multiplying or dividing by a negative. So I just left it, okay? Still trying to get the y by itself. So before I work on this term or the number directly attached to the variable, I want to get rid of anything else over here. So I need to zero out the 48. So I'm going to subtract 48 to keep it balanced. I have to do the same thing on the other side. And again, I'm subtracting, not multiplying or dividing by a negative. So my inequality symbol stays the same. So I'm left with negative 33y and 20 uh, minus 48 is negative 28. And then the last thing that I need to do here is get rid of the coefficient. Now, this is implied multiplication right here. This is negative 33 times y. So the inverse or the opposite would be divide by negative 33. Now this time I am dividing by a negative, so I'm going to have to flip my sign here, right? But that'll uh, eliminate the coefficient, and I'll be left with y on the left, flip your sign, and over here, a negative divided by a negative is a positive 28, 33, okay? The instructions say simplify your answer as much as possible. So if you can reduce your fraction, go ahead and reduce. Mine won't reduce, so I'm done, and that's my solution.